In this report, I'm going to tell you why Elon Musk accelerated Tesla Semi's production plans. This is simple. It's following rival Nikola's strong IPO. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel because this is a developing story and we keep our finger on the pulse of Tesla Semi stories. If you are interested in Tesla, Tesla Semi or Giga Berlin or anything related to Tesla and electric cars. So after a memo from CEO Elon Musk of Tesla urging staff to prioritize production of the commercial truck Tesla Semi was leaked on on Tuesday evening, the Tesla shares rose to an all-time high over $1,000 this morning when the market opened this morning on Wednesday. According to Reuters, Elon Musk sent a note to staff following the very successful IPO of zero-emission startup Nikola Motors, which plans a lineup of battery-powered and hydrogen fuel cell-powered commercial trucks starting next year. Phoenix-based Nikola's market capitalization surpassed Ford's and on Tuesday after announcing a reservations date for a small pickup truck despite company projections that it wouldn't even reach $1 billion in revenue until 2023. Nikola accused Tesla earlier of copying the design of one of its trucks in a lawsuit that is ongoing. Both companies borrow their names from famed electrical engineer Nikola Tesla. Elon Musk has confirmed the authenticity of his note, which said it's time to go all out and bring the Tesla Semi to volume production. He added that the powertrain would be manufactured at Tesla's Reno factory in Nevada, in Nevada facility, but the most on other work would take place elsewhere in the United States. Tesla originally planned to bring the 150,000 to 200,000 tractor, uh, tractor unit to market in 2020, but had previously pushed that to 2021. Elon Musk's note did not clarify when volume production would be achieved. Tesla also promised the truck would be available, the semi truck would be available with ranges from 300 to 500 miles per charge and be able to accelerate to uh, 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds at the maximum allowed weight of 80,000 pounds. Both companies claim to have billions of dollars worth of reservations for their commercial trucks. Now, what happened is that remember several days ago we provided the Nikola Motors business prospects and and what happened there is that Nikola expected to break through the trucking industry and grab market share from the big boys with three main products. The Nikola 3 will be the first to go to the market. The Nikola 2 and Nikola 1 will follow Nikola 3. The Nikola 3 or Nikola 3 will be a battery electric vehicle and the Nikola 2 and Nikola 1 will be FCEV, which means fuel cell electric vehicles. Nikola 1, Nikola uh, 2 and Nikola 3 are close, uh, are, are actually class A trucks with 1000 uh, horsepower and an expected maximum weight of 20,000 pounds. The weight is important because it eats and in, it eats into hauling capacity. So, so the more the truck weights, the lower its hauling capacity, which could impact revenue per truck. Although Nikola trucks appear to be heavier than than the typical diesel trucks, it is expected to be lighter than battery powered trucks such as Tesla. Now, Tesla, it is actually lighter than battery powered trucks such as Tesla Semi. Now, since yesterday, Nikola had a very successful IPO. Tesla, it, it's not uh, uh, surprised that in yesterday evening, Tesla CEO Elon Musk uh, sent that memo saying that, which it confirmed that it wants the uh, acceleration of semi truck by Tesla uh, because Tesla doesn't want to yield the market share to anyone, uh, especially, you know, um, Daimler is a big truck company, truck semi truck uh, maker that needs to look at these things. Um, it looks like the electric trucks are going to be the future. Public is very much interested in electric cars public is very much interested in electric trucks and this morning the news already going that uh, but uh, actually speaking of the news the, keep in mind that Nikola doesn't even have a factory and will reach production in 2023 that's what they say and we have no idea when uh, Nikola Tesla trucks are coming but since it's accelerating we hope that they will come to mass production maybe next year or 2022 the bottom line is that Tesla will do everything possible to uh, accelerate its 
each truck's pr production. Maybe to come earlier, uh, Tesla will do everything to accelerate its pro uh, truck production to come earlier than Nikola Tre. Well, friends, let me know what you think about this development. What you think? Could you compare Nikola Tre and Tesla Semi in the comments? Let's talk about their advantages and disadvantages. You know, let's look at for let's 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 do an honest comparison. I know a lot of people in this uh, Torque News community are Tesla fans, but let's let's look at the advantages of Nikola Tre because we would like to have uh, right information. We would like to have uh, uh, correct information and uh, and see how these two trucks compare with each other, Nikola Tre and Tesla Semi. Have a wonderful friends, um, have a wonderful day friends, and if you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. This is Armin Harya from torquenews.com, and I'll see you in our next report. Uh, take good care of each other, God bless you, and uh, see you soon.